In addition to having enough RAM for a Windows Vista computer, and I recommend at least two gigabytes of RAM for any version of Windows Vista, you can also shut off many of the extras that Microsoft has put in Vista that are totally unnecessary. And the way you can do that is through the System Properties Performance section of Windows Vista, and then you can control what is running and what isn't running in terms of effects and fluff that you don't need to be running all the time. So to get there quickly, click the Start button or the Orb, and in the search box or run, you're going to type in System Properties Performance, all one word, Systems Property Performance, then hit Enter on your keyboard, and the Systems Performance options will appear. And in this window, you can choose one of their pre-made options here, but I'm not going to use any of those. I just click Custom, and then in the list of options, you're going to uncheck a lot of these different boxes, including the animations, which who wants to wait for animations to happen? Desktop composition is a, a new way that Microsoft is trying to enable how we see the screen on our, on our computers. Definitely slows down the computer. Transparent glass doesn't need to be there. Fade, fade, fade. Show preview and filters and folder. Don't need that. Shadows under the menus. All these things you can get rid of. Show translucent rectangle. I usually keep that one because it is nice to see if you're using your mouse to select multiple files, you can do that. Slide is the same thing as fade. We don't want those. I don't, I don't mind smoothing out my fonts. That's OK. But smooth scroll list boxes, I usually uncheck that. Use a different background image for each folder. I uncheck that as well. And then you can also uncheck these visual styles for windows and buttons, because those don't need to happen either. So by unchecking and playing with these settings in the performance options section of Vista, you're going to find that you're going to get a much more optimized startup, and you're going to get a little better performance out of the slow running Vista. And in addition, don't discount using many of the MS config tools that we've talked about at HelpMeRick.com and on our YouTube channel as well because MS config becomes more important in Vista than it has in any of the previous versions of Windows as you control what starts and what doesn't start with your computer.